Hey, YouTube family. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, it's Rev. Wendy with Community of Compassion. And I'm in a little bit of a different setting today because I am away for my birthday weekend. And I just am so excited. Um, I always have. My mom, I think, passed that along to me because she always um, made us... Uh, my mom always celebrated birthdays and made a big deal and, you know, always had like balloons and cakes and, you know, she was a big holiday person too, rest her soul. And so I think I picked that up. And so I always love my birthdays. I mean, even my dad. So yesterday, for those who don't know, I turned 52, 52 years old. Isn't that exciting? Yay. I can't believe it. Every time I say it, I'm like, really? But yes, I turned 52 years old and I was saying that my dad sent me a birthday card. My dad um, still sends me birthday cards. Hi, AM. Uh, my dad has sent me a birthday card every year for my birthday, even up until this point. And I, that, that just touches my heart. You know, he's um, in his 70s. He lives in Ohio. But no matter where I've lived, whether or not I was in college or away, my dad always managed to make sure that I get both a birthday card and a Valentine's card. And so I really appreciated uh, receiving that card on time. Uh, took some time to uh, spend it yesterday with family uh, when I was 50 years old. So this is kind of a different spirit talk today, okay? I'm just, I'm, this is just my way of saying thank you. Uh, uh, number one, for celebrating my birthday with me yesterday, for coming on today, but also to just encourage each and every one of you to celebrate your life, to celebrate your big day. You don't even have to wait until your birthday. And I would really encourage you not to do that because tomorrow's not promised, right? Tomorrow's not promised. And we never know uh, when... Um, our situations might change. So I want to encourage you all today to live your life to, to the fullest right now, to the degree that you can. But what I was saying is, you know, my dad, my mom, they've always been big celebrators of, of holidays and of birthdays. And that always, you know, encouraged me and my brother. And so I've always endeavored to do that. Two years ago, I turned 50. And when I turned 50 two years ago, I said, okay, I'm going to start celebrating my birthday by taking international trips. Um, at, at, at one point, uh, we had, um, one point I had only been to the Bahamas. That's the only place I'd ever gotten to go internationally. So I had just gotten my passport a few years ago. But after I took that first international trip, I was like, oh yeah, I want to see the rest of the world. I want to, I want to travel. And so when I turned 50 years old, two years ago, I went to Dubai. Oh, Dubai. Can you believe that? It was so amazing. Thank you, Kimberly, for the happy birthday message. It was so great. I got to ride a camel. Um, after that 15 hour flight, I got to tour the desert. I mean, D Dubai was phenomenal and it was not someplace I thought I could ever afford to go. But let me tell you, a friend of mine was working in the area over there as a human resources contractor. And he had said to me, you should check into the price. It's really not as, as, as expensive as you think. And lo and behold, people, I went on Expedia and I found a hotel and a flight to Dubai for five days and four nights for less than $1,000. What? Less than a thousand dollars to go to Dubai? Oh yeah, I'm going. Sign me up for that. <laughs> so that was in 2018. Grateful that I had the the means to be able to do that. But please do not um, think we talk ourselves out of doing things. Sometimes we figure, oh, I could never do that, or I could never afford that, or I can't ever see myself doing that. Some people discouraged me from going. Some people said, "You're going to travel all the way across the world." by yourself? Yep. <laughs> yes, I am. Um, would I ha love to have someone to travel with me? Of course. But am I going to put my life on hold because I don't have someone to travel with me at the moment? Absolutely not. 
I know that you need to use wisdom and I'm not suggesting that you don't think about and plan and, and prepare yourself for travel wherever you're going. But what I would also suggest is that you not limit yourself from traveling, from exploring, from doing, because your life may not be or because you don't have someone to travel with you. Go, just go, plan the trip, go, eat the cake, all of that. Life is precious. We only get one shot at it here on earth that I know of. And so the other, the rest of it's on the other side. So while we're on this side, why not enjoy it to the degree that, that you can? So two years ago, I said, okay, I'm turning 50. I'm going to take a lifetime trip. I am going to Dubai. And I did. And I loved it. And they were some of the friendliest people that I met. Uh, they traveled, you know, showed me around and I made friends from all over the country, uh, all over the world, quite frankly, on that trip. And it was amazing. So please go. And that was 2018. 2019 for my birthday in October, I went to, okay, you ready for this? Belize. Oh my God. Belize. It was beautiful. Have you guys ever been to Belize? I had that on my bucket list for 20 years, practically, and finally got the chance to go on my last birthday, and it did not disappoint. I had such a good time riding around Belize in my little golf cart, <laughs> seeing all the beautiful waterways and all the artwork and all the, the, the cultural um vendors who were in the street. And so Belize was amazing, amazing. <laughs> so I am just, I'm still riding high off of those trips. And then we fast forward to 2020. So yesterday, of course, was my birthday for 2020. And my plan had been pre-COVID, <laughs> my plan had been to travel and visit um, the Cayman Islands and Jamaica. I had a nice cruise, all scheduled. I had it booked since March and I was going to go on this cruise. I was going to fly down to Miami yesterday and, and, and spend the night. And then today I would have been heading out to get aboard a cruise line that was going to go through Grand Cayman and Jamaica. That's where I was going this afternoon. But COVID had other plans. Well, amen. It is what it is. And I am not complaining one bit because I am not in any way trying to diminish the seriousness of what we're experiencing right now, what's going on in our lives. But uh, I, I would be not being truthful if I didn't say that I would have loved to have been boarding a cruise line later on this afternoon um, en route to two more destinations on my bucket list. So I say all that to say, friends, live your life now. Do what you can to enjoy the, the moments and the life that we've been given. That's what God gave us our lives for. Are there going to be storms? Of course. Are there going to be challenges that come up? Yes. But what I don't want us to do is get to a place where we ever have uh, a, a series of regrets. And next week, I'm actually going to start a series on living a life of no regret. Because regrets sometimes can really feel overwhelming. The, that, that moment where we think back to, if I had just taken this chance, this trip, this direction, this opportunity, that perhaps my life could have been different. I want to talk about being able to seize the moment, to live our lives, and to do the things that that bring us joy, that that bring us a, a great sense of hope. Um, I, I see the comments going on, ladies. I, I love that you all are participating because this. I, I'm trying to transfer life energy into you all right now. I want you all to begin to survey your life even after we get on the other side of this pandemic and figure out, okay, what is it that I have been putting off? What is it that I had said I would never be able to do, but now feel like if I've made it through this pandemic, if I've made it through the last nine months of the year and I'm still alive and I'm still intact mentally, physically, spiritually, what 
can I do? What do I want to experience? Where can I go? And I want you all to do that. So instead of getting on the cruise this afternoon down in Miami and heading out to the Grand Cayman and Jamaica over the next week, I'm actually down at the beach uh, near Delaware. You, know, you all know, I think, that I live here in Washington, D.C., the beauty of Washington is that you have access to so many other states uh, just by jumping on the interstate. So, of course, uh, Washington, D.C. is surrounded by Virginia and Maryland. So I can go any of those places, you know, Virginia Beach or, you know, different places in Maryland. But Delaware is the next state over. And that's where I'm at right now at the Rehoboth Beach in Delaware, which is beautiful. Uh, so you can uh, access these places. Philly's not very far from uh, Washington, like a couple of hours. And then New York City is four hours from me. So I, I feel fortunate to live in a place where I have access to, to so many, you know, scenic opportunities and places to, to go and just experience life. And so I just want to uh, spend my time today saying thank you. Thank you so much for encouraging me, for supporting me. Uh, and for wishing me a happy birthday yesterday, I was overwhelmed. You know, I just kind of put a post on on uh, on Twitter and I posted on Facebook and just said to everybody, you know, hey, it's my birthday. I'm turning 52. Chapter 52 starts today. And, and immediately, you know, I think one of the first comments I got was, you don't look 52 at all. <laughs> I think that was Caroline. Caroline, that was you, right? You don't look 52 at all. And I'm like, Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. And uh, I say to people, I, I'm very proud of my age. You know, I, I, I feel like, again, age is nothing but a number. And sometimes I'll say, well, I'm not 52. Flip the numbers. I'm 25. Well, no, I am 52, but I'm 25 at heart. And so I, I, I embrace my age because you know what? There are some people who didn't make it to 52. They didn't make it to 51. And I honor them. And I, you know, I honor the fact that um, any age that we make, any age that we achieve, there's someone who wishes that they, their loved one had made that particular age goal as well. So don't be ashamed, be proud, because what it signifies is that you've made it, you've come much further and, and hopefully you're a different person every year. Hopefully you've grown. Hopefully you've evolved. I'm not the same person at 52 or that I was at 51 or even 50. And so I just want to take that time to encourage you to live life today with no regrets. I don't want you to look back and say, what if, or I could have, should have, would have. But I want you to say to yourself, self, <laughs> what do we want to do? What is it that we can bring to the world? What can we contribute? Where can we go in the world uh, that will make us more cultured, more excited about life and even have more to offer to other people? So back to the Dubai trip for a moment. When I went to Dubai and I posted about it and told everyone, you know, about how I had underestimated my ability to be able to go just in terms of always thinking that it would be just so terribly expensive. But once I found out and got my trip for under a thousand dollars, just slightly, but still under a thousand dollars, that sparked other people to look into the possibility of traveling to Dubai. And at least two of my friends, two married couples that I know of, lived their dream and went to Dubai after I did and said that they were inspired by my trip and by my post. Now, I'm not saying that because it's anything about me, but what I'm saying to you is that what you want to do in your life, the places you want to go and the things that you want to see may not just be about you but it may inspire and invoke in other people a courage and a desire to do some of those same things, right? So that really blessed my soul because uh, no, it was actually three people. I can remember at least three people saying to me, Wendy, after I saw those pictures of you going to Dubai yourself, I figured I'd check into it and that maybe it was possible for me. 
That to me is a greater blessing even than the trip. To know that somebody else is inspired to live their life because you're living yours, that is priceless. Someone out there is waiting for you to give yourself permission to live so that they can live too. So I'm asking you today to do that for yourself so that other people can see what is possible. This is kind of a different spirit talk today. I didn't necessarily go through a lot of scriptures and, 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 and all of that, but you all know where my heart is. This one's a little different um, because because it's my birthday. So I just, I, I, I again, I thank you all as always. This one's just a little bit different. I think we're having a little bit of a connectivity issues and I'm sorry about that because again, I'm, I'm not in my regular spot as you can see and uh, <laughs> I don't have my lighting. So I appreciate you all kind of uh, bearing with me through this sort of bare bones uh, broadcast. But again, thank you. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Thank you for the love. Thank you for just being who you all are because you're so special. Let me look over here in these comments because you guys have been going at it. Let me see here. AM, Dubai, it was, Dubai was, oh my, like the pretty structured AM. If you ever go to Dubai, you have to go to the Burj Khalifa, which is the world's tallest building. I think it has 244 stories, if I remember correctly. I got a chance to go to the 85th floor. I think that's as high as I was going to go. <laughs> take some pictures, but Dubai is magnificent. I mean, breathtakingly so. And so I, I went on a tour, um, one of the bus tours that take you around Dubai. It also took us over to Abu Dhabi. So I got a chance to go to Abu Dhabi, which is also beautiful. So please check that out. Um, Kimberly, yeah, Bahamas, I did uh, get a chance. They are they are beautiful. Bahamas are lovely. That's where the cruise went, the very first cruise that I took. AM, yes, go Japan, Norway, Germany, all on my list, <laughs> definitely. And Kimberly, everywhere. Yeah, if I could fit everywhere into my game plan and into my budget, uh, I'd do that as well. But yes, please do what you can while you can, everybody, okay? It doesn't have to be your birthday, but don't hold yourself back. Don't live a life that you later on may turn around to regret. Just as I said earlier, take the trip, eat the cake, um, whatever it is, say yes. <laughs> say yes. No is good for boundaries, but sometimes yes is good for possibility. So thank you for joining me for this kind of non-conventional spirit talk today. Just wanted to say thank you to all of the, the folks who are right now planning and plotting because of this broadcast. I just believe that there are folks planning and plotting right now what their next life step is going to be but it's going to be one that leads to no regrets. I thank you so much for always listening and tuning in. Uh, be sure to click, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I'm going to be heading out to the beach in a few more minutes uh, just to get a little bit more of that sacred time in by the ocean. But I'll be back next week to talk with you. Until then, be blessed. Love you all. Take care. <laughs>